Hey guys, it's Void Concept here, and today I am reviewing the 13W38C snapshot. The A and B versions were very glitchy, so the C has come out very quickly. And in the th uh, 38 snapshot, we have a couple of really awesome uh, improvements. Actually, that's the wrong one there. Um, and this is one of them right here. So now you can actually have these maps here and put them in an item frame. And they will take up the entire block. Instead of just being inside the item frame itself. Did my music turn back? Yeah, it did. Um, so, yeah. Very cool thing. And actually that one belongs there. I think that one's there. Yep. And yeah, you can now have very cool pictures and stuff like that um, for these. And obviously have a map like this. And yeah, it's just generally very cool. So another thing that was changed was in video settings here. There are a couple new things here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what each of them do, but they're uh, these ones here, the mitmap levels and aniostrophic tr uh, filtering, are supposed to increase your frame rate, which I've locked at 30 frames per second because I don't like my games being too smooth. Um, so, yeah, and that's another thing that's changed, I think, is this SP FPS thing. Um, you can now slide it up all the way up to unlimited. Um, looks like the last bar here is 250. And I'll just leave it down at 30. And render distance has also changed. And now it is by chunks instead of just tiny, short, normal, and far. So this gives you some greater control. And you can mess around with those yourself. I'm not going to mess around too much with that because of the main thing in this is the super secret settings. Um, so that one right there, this first one I read was anti-aliasing, so it makes things look a little bit better. Um, this will probably uh, decrease your frame rate. And from here on out I have no idea what each one of them is called, but each one will have a different little filter like this. And this really, this one right here really drops my frame rate. I'm not exactly sure why. And I have no idea what it's called. Uh, this one is kind of like a find edges type thing. If I look closely there, all of the edges seem to be outlined. And it actually kind of looks pretty cool here. Um, but obviously, they get cooler. This one is another one like the second one there, except it doesn't decrease my frame rate as much. It also doesn't look like it uh, like blows out those colors as much, or blurs it out. This one here is a really cool thing. It's like a black and white and find lines. I was actually thinking about doing kind of like a let's play in this because it's kind of hard to tell uh, animals apart and I'm sure ores are going to be the same. In fact, there's a little cave system right down here. Yeah, I think torches are a must. Uh, is there any... That looks like an ore of some sort. Uh, nope, that's just stone. Um, yeah, let's, let's see. What does coal look like? Block of coal. Okay. So you may be able to see it slightly. Um, but yeah, that would be a very interesting challenge, I think. Um, so let's continue on here. This one... What is this one? Oh yeah, this one, it looks like the colors are brighter. So more saturated colors. Uh, this one splits the RGB stream, so you can kind of see their... The colors are off, um, as you can see over there, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll zoom and enhance. You'll see that there's like a little purple haze. 
and inverted mode. This one is interesting. I'm sure this one would be cool for some type of challenge as well. Um, yeah, it's very disorienting. And, oh yeah, inverted. Okay then. <laughs> inverted. Looks very cool. And water turns yellow. <laughs> and that's lava there. That's flowing down there. Oh, is this iron? Coal. <laughs> Interesting. And, ah uh, yes, TV mode, in including the frame rate drop. And another one of these, like, find edges type of thing. What is that over there? Something is really like showing up over here. Is it just... It was absolutely nothing? Oh, I thought there was going to be something cool over here. Eh, I guess not. That was an interesting... So oh, yes! Uh, the I just got knocked out and woke up type of thing. I'm sure this will be used in machinimas. I've, I've always thought that this effect is kind of cool. And... Another TV mode, minus the frame rate drop. And very much so the find edges type thing. Um, I have no idea what these are called again, so don't yell at me. That's interesting. That looks like a lake over there. And just the blue of the outside is... Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, and the super low resolution mode. Um, yeah, I cannot tell where I am whatsoever right now. I should probably do that as well so I can see a little bit better. And less saturated colors. I, I do know this one. Um, it, do, it, do, it, do, it, do, it does still have some color. You can tell that's yellow and green. And this green here is a different color than these greens, but it's less saturated colors. And green television um, low resolution mode. Blur, just straight up blur. Can't see anything. Forgot my glasses. And the trippy mode. I, I won't leave this on for too long. And then the evil sheep mode, as I'm calling it, because... Let me find a sheep. <laughs> evil sheep. <laughs> sheep is so evil. And actually, when you get closer, it becomes normal, but... Evil sheep. <laughs> and I think... Is this back to normal? Or... I can't tell after all these filters when I'm back at it to normal or not. Eh, maybe this... I think this is maybe back to normal. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the only way you can tell for sure if you're back to normal is to exit out of the world. Or exit out of the game. I'm not sure which actually resets it. So, yeah, the, you can feel free to mess around with those yourself. Um... I'm going to look, see if there's anything else. Uh, oh, there's a new command for servers. It's uh, set idle. Set idle. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it in single player here. Uh, here, let me open it to LAN. Uh, whatever. Oh, shoot, I just set block. Nope, not going to let me do it. Um, so yeah, it's set a idle timeout, so set idle timeout, and then, uh, time in minutes, so like four minutes, and that will, um, I guess if somebody's idle for that amount of time, they'll be kicked from your server. So that's interesting. Um... Added support for connected textures, so I'm guessing that's like the um, 
glass panes. I'm reading this off of the wiki. Yep, like that. So instead of, well, I don't know. Did glass panes have that before? I know. That's not it. Uh, but like, oh, I should have kept those. I'll just get some normal glass then. So like that there, this could be um, just mixed together or like the line wouldn't show up anymore if you had that enabled. Uh, let's see, any others here? Oh, achievement system has been changed. Uh, let's see, what what achievements have I gotten so far? I need to get wood. So, I'll clear my inventory. Piece of wood here. And... There's an achievement, and it comes down here in the um, messages, and this can be disabled. I believe it broadcasts it to the whole um, like server that you're on, so that may be interesting. That's weird. <laughs> when I'm hovering over this, the uh, map over here kind of gets darker for a second. Interesting. So, yeah, that's, I think that's it now for, um, my mind just blinked. Uh, I think that's it for this video, so, uh, if you, of course, go download the, um, snapshot and try it out yourself. I, uh, it is very interesting. They, they said that there's just lots of crashes. Well, actually, that was with the B snapshot, not the C um, so if you crash, um, then, oh well, uh, I, I want to see, uh, I want to see if my glitch from my Oblivion, uh, map still works. I, I know I've reported it and so many people, uh, other people did it. 174 was it? So, oh yeah, set block. And I'll do, I guess, one more Y. And 11. And if this crashes my game, I will see you guys later. And goodbye. Oh, that's not the right ID. <laughs> well, oh, 175. 175, 11. Yeah, okay. That's right. And 7 is the one that crashed.